What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode on the Hermitcraft server. So guys, we are in the tunnels underneath my base, our mining tunnels that we have here where another portal is. I do want to get this thing moved. We might do that today. Um, but yeah, on live streams, I have been working on this unfinished tunnel and making it more finished. So this is a section here that leads all the way over to our skeleton grinder. This is what we are using in the first few episodes to get XP and to get bones and things like that. Um, the tunnel, we were following along the same pattern <laughs> that I used for the main skeleton grinder room, right? So we have the cobbled walls, we have the cobble ceiling slabs, uh, that way we have a little bit of a height difference here. We got these little beams going across and all that kind of stuff. So I was following that pattern into this room and then I wanted to differentiate the stairways a little bit. So we have the, uh, the bricks up here as stairs, upside down stairs or whatever for more headroom. And then we have the same, I think these are tiles going down in the stairs. Yeah, we got a little bit of gap in between. Uh, trying to put stairs next to walls is a little bit tricky. So either you need like an airspace, a little gap here, or you have like these blocks up one. And then like if you're running up against the wall, similar to like how this beam here is, you get caught on them. So yeah, I elected to go with a little bit of an air gap there. And then the rest of this tunnel is very, very samey and plain looking, right? Very symmetrical. Each one of these little sections is nine blocks long. Uh, yeah, I wanted to get the blocks in place. So we had something that looked finished, but it definitely could use a little bit of a change here. Um, so I was thinking like, well, as was suggested to me on stream, we could try throwing in some crimson stems in here or maybe some nether warp blocks like up in this. I haven't tried this yet before, so I have no idea if this is even gonna look good, but it'll definitely add a little bit of color here anyway. And we can just kind of see if that is something that we want to continue doing here. So if we throw that into there. Well, actually, yeah, that adds a decent amount of color. It's something that your eyes kind of gravitate to. Hmm, would that be good if we put it down here as well? And try this. And some of them right like a so. That's not bad. That's not bad. So if we have these strips going all the way down here, at least it's better than just having gray all the way down, right? Gives you something more to look at. We might be able to alternate between this and the warped stems, right? That's another possibility. And then there's also this nether warp block. Uh, we could use those instead. I haven't tried that either. So we can throw those in there and just kind of see what that looks like as well. Be similar, but different. Yeah, I almost like that better, but this has like a little bit of an animated texture. Hmm. Well, these are the kind of things that I experiment with off camera, generally speaking. Uh, I'll make a decision and do the rest of this tunnel a little bit later. But yeah, um, working on this on live stream, I've been working on other things on live stream too. Let's head into the nether here, I'll show you what the nether side is looking like over by Horsehead Farms. So if we come over along this way, we got our mending villager here that I moved over here. Uh, yeah, so we have opened up this area quite a lot. XB did a nice job with this portal. And then I wanted access to the nether ceiling, right? So on stream, I went ahead and I learned how to break bedrock. We got up onto the nether ceiling and we have ourselves a nice access way up here. Like so. Used one of the uh, warped vines or whatever those are. Made a little three by three opening here that we had to break. Was it three pieces of bedrock to go straight down or maybe it was two? I don't remember. But anyway, uh, yeah, I figured if we remove in a three by three, it'll make it look a little bit nicer <laughs> where we break through on the nether ceiling. We have absolutely nothing done up here. Uh, future plans, I do want to make myself a gold farm. So that is something that we'll be looking at here pretty soon. I've been collecting resources for that. Uh, I want to make a gold farm similar to what I did last season using the turtle eggs. So I went and I found myself some turtle eggs and I brought them back to the base area and I tried getting myself some turtles to hatch. Well, unfortunately, turtles hatch at nighttime. And this is a server where one person can sleep and everybody sleeps basically every night. So the turtles would never hatch. Uh, long story short, I ended up finding a patch of turtles. There was like seven or eight of them. 
and we were able to collect a decent amount of turtle eggs. I think they're in, yeah, right here. So we collected like three stacks of turtle eggs in about 30 minutes. So breeding the turtles is actually pretty easy. All you need is just a little bit of seed grass and that you can get just by bone mealing underwater on most blocks, I think. Um, so yeah, just come here, spam a little bit of seagrass on them. The turtles do their things, they lay their eggs, and you get to use your silk touch on them to collect those eggs. I think that's the only way you can get them. Now the reason why we want these turtle eggs is because zombies, or in the case that we want, the zombified piglins, absolutely hate turtle eggs. I have no idea why, but they are attracted to them. They want to go and stomp on them because they're big jerks, right? Uh, so we need a whole bunch of these turtle eggs so when piglins, the zombified piglins spawn, they immediately go walking towards the eggs, they'll fall off the edge, and then we can collect the gold that they leave behind. It's going to be awesome. So I ended up over at the turtles long enough to get rid of all the seagrass and <laughs> I ended up getting about six more stacks of turtle eggs. I think I'm good. I decided since I was over there showing you guys that I might as well go ahead and get as many turtle eggs as I possibly can. And now I'm out of room here. Uh, guess I'll just overflow into this chest for now. <laughs> uh, so anyway, Pearl wanted some apples. She was asking if anybody on the server has any. Well, I have a villager that I have got to the point where we can get apples from because we needed it for golden apples. And speaking of golden apples, I also want to get that gold farm set up sometime soon so we can make more golden apples. Gold is not a resource I want to have to keep mining for. So this is where our villagers are. We got our villager breeder. All the villagers that get bred end up right here. We got our zombie over here where we can send villagers over to get zombified and send them back here to cure them. It's a very, very simple setup. Nothing fancy going on this season. Uh, but this is our villager right here that I was thinking of. Yeah, so one emerald is four apples. So we just need to feed our villager. What is this chest? Oh, this is my stuff. I've been doing it. Yeah, so we just need to feed this villager some emeralds and then we can get some apples for Pearl. How many do we get for that? There's a stack and I think that's what she needed. Speaking about villagers, while we're here, our cleric villager I have here so we could give some rotten flesh to trade for emeralds, right? Uh, I have cured this guy, I think, about seven times. I had him down to one rotten flesh equals one emerald and then he raised his price to two and now he's up to five. I don't know what the deal is with this guy. I'm gonna have to keep curing him, I guess, a bunch more times so we can get that one rotten flesh for one emerald. Hello. Hey, there you are. Uh, hi. Yeah, I, I was looking for your portal, <laughs> couldn't find it. Is it that one right there? Yeah, it's it's underneath Bodum or Green. Oh, it's underneath Green. <laughs> oh, okay. I was yeah, yeah I was looking for your name area. and I couldn't find it. Uh, yeah, we're all under just the one umbrella. So. <laughs> I see. I see. So you wanted some apples? Here you go. Oh my gosh, perfect. Wait, two stacks? It's fine. It's only like 16 emeralds. Okay, thank you. I'll <laughs> two, two diamonds back then. Hey, well, there you go. Thank you so much. It evens out. Thank you so much as well. Totally yeah. not using these for anything. Mm-hmm. At all. Yeah. yeah. I'm, just eat them. Just food. Just, just, yeah. just food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Just food. Fine. Just food. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Hypno. Hey, dude, what's going on? Uh, not a lot. Fixing to get some filthy richness going on, you know what I'm saying? Get the old profits coming in here at Horsehead Farms. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, as y'all can see, uh, we got the, 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 the market here fully built. Uh, it is completely done, and it looks bloody marvelous, especially... Ah, God, I can't... The ah! <laughs> you having problems? <laughs> <laughs> so, if we come up here, it looks freaking awesome. If you ask me. And you did ask me because I asked me, and there it is. I gave you that. Yeah. You know? Worry. There's definitely a lot of stuff going on down there. It looks very marketable, I would say. Right. It's like the marketiest market that ever marketed. Yes. I I, I would have to concur, actually. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so we were we were talking, we're trying to figure out prices, right? And we decided, you know what? We're we're so revolutionary that we're just going to have one price for everything. Okay. What is that price right? going to be? Well, if you look look inside. Look, look in here. Okay. Oh. Oh, I see a glass block. One diamond per stack for everything. For everything, uh, one diamond per anything wait. we add from here to the future. Wait. One diamond per stack. Wait. 
One diamond uh -huh. per stack? Mm -hmm. So you're telling me if I wanted to come over here and get like, I don't know, a stack of bone blocks, that would be one diamond? Right. If we were selling bone blocks. If we were selling bone yeah. blocks, it would be one diamond. If I mm -hmm. wanted this glow squid ink, it would be one diamond for our 64 of them? One diamond. Gunpowder too? Uh-huh. Wow. Oh, but wait, there's more. Ooh, you got me intrigued. All right. If you if you head on over to your friendly neighborhood lectern. Okay. Yeah, I'll look at... Well, I guess we can look at the same one. Yep. No, can we? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, welcome to Horsehead Farm. Horsehead Farms. <laughs> All farmed items are one diamond per stack, period. Bulk purchases can be paid with an IOU. Okay. Ooh. An IOU. That's a real... But yeah, rename your rename paper to your player name and place in chest. Then example, and then obviously some legal jargon on the second page. Uh, you know, our lawyers told us to put that. You so. always have to have it in there. It's just, it's just right. Everybody does it. Exactly. And that's basically it. Done. That's awesome, dude. So people uh, can buy anything they want for one diamond, or if they want bulk, it's an IOU. Mm-hmm. And and thank you to Vintage Beef. <laughs> For kind of being where this started, because our know, test subject maybe right. We he still owes us. That's right. Hmm. Which I feel like now we need it in writing just to kind of make it go with all of you know the new legal way of doing this. I I agree. We definitely need to get so that written down we're somewhere. Have to, I mean, we're it is on to, video, so we have like video evidence. But yeah, we need right. physical I evidence. Mean, we could we could probably just make one on our on our own and just be like you know this is the IOU. So. Yeah, yeah, I, th I think you'd be fine with that. Mm -hmm. But I feel like that's a pretty good, you know, that's a pretty good little nugget there, right? You, like, say you're coming over and you're like, man, I need I need a bunch of bone blocks. But one diamond per stack of bone? I mean... Seems a little, it seems a little much if you need, like, a, a whole steep. lot of it. Right. And so then you're just like, you know what? I'm just, I'm going to make a bulk order. And I'm just going to say, hey, I owe you something later. Mm-hmm. Could be anything. Done. And you're done. Like, that's it. I No no money out of pocket. Dude, we're, we're going to get so rich off this. It's going to be this amazing. This is going to be amazing. I mean, we're doing a service for the entire Hermitcraft right. server. Not, like, not us personally, a, no. A needed service. Yeah, we're. this isn't about making profit. This is about right. helping out the rest of the server. Like, what do we get out of, a, out of an IOU? We get a piece no, of paper. Nothing. It's just paper. It's not worth anything. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. Right. Helicopters in Minecraft? More likely than you think, here on the Hermitcraft server anyway. <laughs> yeah, so I'm over here at the Yes Wings Club. This is a building I've been meaning to check out for a few days now. The Yes Wings Club. We all know what the No Wings Club is. That's a club where you're supposed to not wear an elytra and see how long you can go. The Yes Wings Club encourages elytra use, and we all know I love my elytra. Uh, so the Yes Wings Club sign up. Let's check this out. This says, welcome to the Yes Wings Club Flight Club, where the first rule of Flight Club is you always talk about Flight Club. Well, I can do that. Uh, this club is open to all hermits who love to fly. Membership is free until August 3rd, 2021. That's in, I think, two weeks from now. I think so. Uh, to sign up, please leave your name and the current date on the next page. Also, as a gift for joining, please take one welcome to Yes Wings Club shulker boxes from the chest below and wear your aviator helmet proudly. Impulse, Wells, Cub, XB, and B dubs have all signed up. Well, I need to put my name on here. I think I gotta take the book to do that. And there we go. I added my name to it. Hypno the on July 24th. Yep, I think that is good. So I should take my Yes Wings Club. I'm gonna take the middle one. Uh oh yeah, let's check it out. We got a whole bunch of rockets. We got an Elytra in there. And we get ourselves the Yes Wings Club Aviator Helmet. I've been wanting to see what this looks like. <laughs> Let's check it out. Oh boy. <laughs> wow, that is awesome. Okay, so we're supposed to wear this whenever we fly around, especially when we want to talk about the X Wings Club. This looks glorious. XP, is this it? Uh, I believe this is uh, the. I mean, it looks 
It looks like an evil corporation owns it. I would say it looks pretty entity. evil. I mean, if you look all the way up there, that's pretty telling. Although I, I will say that guy, he looks pretty trustworthy. Um, uh, you know, he's got like the red eyes. Isn't that like what the uh, the big eye crew have so, or something? So you're saying red eyes is untrustworthy? I didn't say that. That's not what I said. Oh. You're taking the words and putting them in my oh. mouth. Oh. <laughs> Tango's got red eyes. He does. The big eye crew. Mm. He looks like he's part of the big eye crew. See, and I'm sure there's some upstanding individuals. I yeah, absolutely. So absolutely. obviously, this is not nefarious in any way. Yeah, all the fire around here. I'm sure that's that's to keep mobs that's away or something. Right, and yeah. light and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Hello. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, this guy ain't even got no legs. I mean, come on. <laughs> he's 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 disabled. Close the door. Don't want any mobs coming in here. Okay, uh, so we got. Uh, derp coin. Portable XP. Uh, oh, he's selling iron. What are carrots? Gar this this guy. <laughs> Ten, Ten derp coin. Derp coin for sixty four. Oh, how expensive are derp coins? Buy derp coin eight for one diamond. Twenty for two diamonds. Thirty two for three. Well, I mean, thirty-two for three sounds like a great deal, that doesn't, doesn't it? Sound okay. So, welcome to the Evil Emporium here at EE. We run our economy on the power of derp coin. Exchange your hard-earned diamonds free of conversion fees and shop to your heart's content. The store has been hastily created to bring you the goods and services you need. Please forgive the or its current state. Re renovations will come soon, along with more ways to trade and earn dip uh, dip coin. Dip coin. Dip coin. <laughs> <laughs> More stock and bargains you won't want to miss. Uh, legal, the value of derp coin is subject to change and cannot be issued outside the premise of the building. Derp coin is non-refundable and subject to default under management or mismanagement. mismanagement or bankruptcy. The exchange derp coin beyond this premises will be <laughs> or is considered illegal and subject to pr prosecution. <laughs> <laughs> Under the supervision of Supreme Overlord Evil X. Supreme Overlord? Mm. Supreme Overlord I, is an awesome title. I, I retract my previous statements about trustworthy. <laughs> 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 Has no liability for your own financial misgivings. Hmm. Okay. So. What are these books? Over here? Unbreaking, Silk Mending, Touch. Silk Touch. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, I'm... So it's 10 derp coin for an unbreaking. 10 derp coin... Wait. Silk touch. Which is nine essentially... Derp. Wow, 9 derp coin for one silk touch? That's cheap. I mean, is it? It is, yeah. So you get 32 for three diamonds. Why? That's cheap. I'm. Gonna, you know how many silk touch I can get? I mean, somebody's definitely... Like, a lot of people have definitely Oop. invested. Oh, wow. Right. With how many people have invested into this, obviously, that seems like everybody wants the derp coin. I, I, hmm. I don't know, man. Like, I, I, I wouldn't invest in, you know, crypto. I don't know that I'm investing in this, to be honest. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm doing it. I'm doing. It. I'm buying the derp coin. Really? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Doing it right now. Whoop. Dude, I, I flipped like, the derp coin upside down. Yeah, yeah, that's what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> How many derp coins should I get? Like uh, zero. There are 32 for three diamonds, so I feel like I should buy nine stacks of it or something. Right? Uh, I mean, I guess you could. Uh, I'll buy one stack for six diamonds. Let's do that. I did it. I have derp coin. Ha ha. I have it. And you don't. I I still have my money, <laughs> but I mean, derp coin is as good as money. Look, I, I'm gonna I mean, buy something with my derp coin. Uh -huh. What was over here? Oh, XP bottles, portable XP. Let's do it. Oh, there's all gone. See, I don't it's need iron. It's a sham. It's a sham. <laughs> it's a it's a it's a it's a, it's a not good. It's silk it touch. Oh, like everybody bought all the good stuff and now there's only this stuff left over. Maybe the good stuff wasn't actually here to begin with. Mm. Yeah, did you ever think mm. about that? Nine derp coin for one. Let me spread this out a little bit so I can get 
I'm gonna buy three of those. There we go. Whoop. I, mm. I, I feel like I feel like you're 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 running into some trouble. I maybe I don't know. I still got thirty seven more derp coin. Oh, is there more stuff? What is this? I wonder what this is. Ooh. <laughs> I feel, I mean, I'm gonna, so you, you have fun. Uh -huh. I'm gonna go, uh, this way. Okay. And, uh, but, but like, you just, like, if you could see yourself right now, it's so dark and ominous in there that you just, you am just I more dark right now? Now that, yes. now that I'm in the shadow? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And it's, it's very worrisome. All right, well, I went ahead and I just built another mushroom house here off camera. We got it all set up here in this corner. Um, yeah, I kind of went with a different design. I didn't want all the mushroom houses to look exactly the same. So, like, we have the first one that we did over here. And that's very, like, pyramid-y, I guess, looking on the top. And then the second one we did over here, we did with the brown mushroom. And it made that more rounded on the top. This one over here, I kind of wanted to make it so, like, the top wasn't even. It was kind of, like lopped over a little bit so that's what we got kind of looking like it got squished in here in amongst the trees and didn't have enough room to grow properly so that's what i was kind of going for with this mushroom house but yeah this is the one that's got our nether portal in it now so our nether portal is actually in its own proper place <laughs> yeah we don't have to worry about going downstairs into the uh into the tunnel down there and all of that to get to our base anymore which is great yeah, and since we've already built a few of these on camera, I figured that I'd just go ahead and do that off camera now. Uh, so now that we got that portal put upstairs, uh, things that we're going to be looking at is trying to get a storage room set up so I don't have to keep going downstairs for all of my stuff. And I think that is probably what we're going to start working on here in the upcoming episodes. I want to get like the main portion of the base built, and that's what's going to go here in the center area. You have to move these cows, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, looking forward to getting that all started. But guys, we are going to go ahead and wrap it up here for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on the episode if you liked it. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.